Hey guys and gals, Neil here, the Rider Guider YouTube channelist. Thanks for tuning in and a quick thank you. We have started to see a bit of an increase in uh, subscribers and also views and I'm getting a great deal of, uh, for me anyway, for um, uh, comments and positivity coming through about what we are doing on the channel and I appreciate it. Thank you very much. Anyway, um, onwards, let's have a quick look at this week's upload. Hello again, right, okay, let's get going. Okay, uh, on the GS, of course, here we are in the lovely Semaphore, South Australia. Now, I am approaching a queue of three or four vehicles that are stopped at a pedestrian crossing. If you look here on your screen where my little arrow is, red lights, I've got a pedestrian crossing here. And, of course, that means potential for people crossing the road, you would expect. Now, let's move forward. In this instance, I'm not breaking the law by doing this. I am allowed to do a bit of a bimble around the outside. Now, the thing is, if them lights turn green, and I've seen it done, people just screw down the outside, accelerate away. What you can't see, if you used to do that, is pedestrians because there could still be somebody there crossing from behind this U. If you hit somebody, even if it's not on a pedestrian crossing, you're pretty much in the shit. If it is on a pedestrian crossing, whether it's green or not, and you were overtaken, you're in a whole world of problems. You're in a whole world of trouble, aren't you? Let's be honest. So watch what I do here. Held back, stopped. Didn't do any overtaking. I will not overtake on a crossing at all so basically as I'm going over the pedestrianized crossing there I'm bimbling I'm behind this vehicle I'm letting him take the lead now what happened was he at this point then didn't speed up partly my fault I don't think he'd seen me beforehand and he suddenly got a, a mirror full of adventure bike and it put him on the back foot. Now the reason being, I think, I don't think he knew where he was going to turn. And there's a clue. He was looking to pull in somewhere, I think. Because what happened was, he just didn't increase his speed. He didn't do anything. And he just carried on at about 25 k's an hour, which is what, 15 mile an hour, 16 mile an hour in the old money. And didn't do anything. And I'm chuntering along and thinking, what is this guy doing? Come on, make some progress. And... I wasn't sure, because he's here now, and he's coming up to a parked car, so is he turning? What's he gonna do? I don't know. Now, I've said this before, we, we, we influence behavior by our own actions. Now, I was, I was much at fault, because he'd seen me, and didn't know what I wanted to do. Now, I think he was half expecting me to overtake him. The reason I didn't was because I wasn't in a safe position to do so. I've got cars here, it was just a little bit busy and it just didn't feel like a particularly safe place. Look, we're not racing in the hills here. If you're in a built-up area, be it 50 or 60 km an hour zone, you stick to the speed limits. You don't ride like a dick. Um, or you shouldn't do. Whether he was expecting me to overtake him, I don't know. I think he possibly was. But I, st I made it quite obvious where I was going to stay behind him. And as you can see at this point, he starts to indicate left, so I've got a clue. Now, because he's indicating left, now what you can't see, the temptation, of course, is now, well, I'll go. But what you can't see as well, and I've got a restricted view, where he's turning into is a junction, of course. And I can't see, but just, that's the view I had. However, I also spotted the roof of a car. And again, it's that situation you've got to consider who see what people can see of you, not just what I can see of them. If I'd have accelerated and overtaken him at that point, which a lot of people would have done, that's what I'd have been met with. And, you know, that, that that's defensive riding, okay? I wasn't going to overtake, I was going to let things transpire and put myself in a position where I could control what was going on. And, it was just one of the things, I, like I, said, I put this guy in the white U here, on the back foot a bit, because he hadn't seen, it. I'd just suddenly appeared in his mirror. 
Um, and again, it was just my action that influenced him. So it's a bit, some, bit of a nice scenario to consider. And as I said, no overtaking on crossings, which I didn't. And in that situation when he's turning left, consider any vehicles at the junction coming across. Consider what they can see of you. Short and sweet, but uh, the message there, don't, dra don't ride like a dick in built up areas and don't overtake on pedestrian crossings and consider at junctions when somebody's turning left how hidden you are. Short and sweet today, I hope that's useful. It's just a little want to put in the toolbox and remember, good work. Thanks gang, we'll see you on the next one.